Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will talk about the size and adaptive families, so how we can mm, transfer our size to the schedule. You will ask me why we are using the adaptive families, because we cannot use even the size of that. If you will check it, uh, as you can see this is adaptive. If you will change, for example, the distance between uh, this um, column and this truss, it automatically will change, but how we can get the parameters parameters and for example transfer it to the schedule. So what if I will say we can do it without Dynamo, without anything, just in family. I will show you right now. Let's see here is I have already the my generic model schedule and as you can see it's here. Let's check some model. I have already truss here as you can see 50 millimeter right. I will select it, highlight in my in my screen where is the my truss? Aha, uh -huh, here is my truss as you can see. And I will change it now the angle of that. Let's make for example here the 5 meter. So now as you can see my angle will change. It was the 50, now it's 43 uh, degree. So this is much better and now it's less the length. So let's I will show you how you can do that without any special things. Before we will continue, I want to say you, now I'm officially tutor in Udemy. You can find there my course Dynamo for Beginners. If you want, you just can join and use this course and you will start no Dynamo from the zero. You don't need any special skills to start and learn Dynamo. So join my Udemy course and as always, link below this video. If you didn't see my previous tutorial about this truss, so I highly recommend you watch it, you will find the link below this video, so this is was long stream and you will see how I did this family, maybe you will do the same family. But principles what I will show you right now, this is same for all the families in Revit. I mean, you are using the adaptive family, you are using, for example, the some standard family, system family, uh, user family, doesn't matter, you can use it anywhere where you want. So, uh, now I will use the adaptive family, as you can see, I cannot now, um, for example, ch check the my angle between uh, my world zero position my center of coordinates and between this uh, this truss so how i can do that so actually i i really i prefer use that one tricky way i will select now this line uh this reference plane like my uh working plane and i will draw and i will put i mean the sum two points doesn't matter just two points here I will select this all the points and I'll say this is adaptive point. So this is adaptive point I will always locate somewhere to show uh, for example to my first family I will show like here is the straight line. So that's it as simple as that. You will see how this will work. So let's uh, do just one line. I need just a line. You can don't draw a line it's only up to you. It's, it's it's no matter. The next thing we should create some parameters. So we need now angle, angle between the middle line and that line. As you can see, we get here the angle. Okay, here is nine uh, nine degree. So, but we need the parameter for this nine degree. So let's select it and let's create the parameter. Now I will use the shared parameter. Yeah, you will ask why shared parameter because I wanna transfer my parameter inside to the project and I want to combine it so this is much better than using only family parameters so let's use the family par uh, shared parameters and after that I will go to the instance and I will use the report parameter and here I will use select parameter and of course you not will have anything here so and that's why I will go to the edit and I will create the new one and we will call it shared parameter by the way you can create only once your shared parameter and after that you can just uh, include something new and new grouping it and be professional just use one and just increase the some parameters inside so now I will create the new parameter and I will call it trust system let's say if I will using to some trust uh, system I'm using uh, these parameters this group parameters and what I need in trust system of course I need length 
OK. And I need one more parameter, this call angle. But be careful, we cannot leave it type parameter like the length because we are using the angle. Angle should be used, the angle parameter, right? So let's change it and let's say OK. Now we will say OK again. And now we want to choose the angle because I want to now first con calculate my angle. Let's say OK and let's and OK. As you can see, now we get the parameter. This is parameter now instance and this is reporting parameter. What does mean a reporting parameter? Reporting parameter that cannot change your model. You cannot write your number there. Reporting parameter only reporting what you have right now here. That's it. So as simple as that. So we have now reporting parameter of our angle. We should now uh, we should now also add the parameter for length. How we can do that? This is simple as like that. So we should use now measurement and after that align dimension. And let's align from the one side to the other side. And we get now distance. As you can see, distance is 15,000 millimeters. Let's select that and let's create the new parameter. Now we will use again shared parameter. Let's select. And now we have already here the length. Let's use it. And don't forget, make it instance reporting parameter. Say OK. That's it. This all the things what we changed inside our family. Let's go back to the 3D. I will delete now all the my families what I did before like this. And now I will load my new family inside to this project. Let's override it. And what the secret now how we can put the uh, this family because this is family a bit unique than other ones. So let's I will go to the architecture. I will find here the uh, components and now I will place my model. I will place it as always just one point and second point. But I did four points. The point number three and number four will show me where is my ground floor. So that's it. As you can see, here is my ground floor. You cannot see any difference, but it is. The difference is when it's like when we're trying to find the angle in our triangle. So the, here is the system, same system from the geometry, from the school geometry. So let's I'll try one more time and let's I will place one more and I will show you how you can create now the schedule. Because now you can uh, transfer your all parameters to the schedule and uh, create, for example, the price of your trust systems or something else, whatever you need. Just give me a second. This is really slowly. Yes, and because my family it's not super uh, light, this is really complete heart family okay we did three families we already placed it and as you can see here is uh, if I will select I can see the two dots on the ground floor uh, so what we're gonna do now let's select our model and let's see what we have here the angle 23 degree here 24 so this working as you can see and we can see the length of the now uh, one truss and the second truss. Okay, so let's continue. We will go to the schedule. And yeah, one, one more thing, guys. When you selected your model under uh, under this um, mm, properties, you can see the category of our model. The categories of our model, this is generic model. So fine. Let's go now to the schedule and let's right click and new schedule quantities. Now we should use the category as I said. Generic model. Let's find generic model here. Where is our generic model? Uh, here is generic model. Let's select generic model and let's say OK. Now the Revit asking us what type of the parameter we want to transfer inside to our schedule. So we need uh, the family. Actually, we need the family. Uh, the family name actually. And after that, we need the link. And we also need to use the angle. Angle this will be first one. So let's say OK and we get some messy things like as you can see right now. So let's go back to the uh, to the fields. We will go now to, to the filter. First, I want to see only the families what have the length and has a value. 
let's say ok I will do just by one by one now you can see I can see only the families which have the, the length ok let's go the other one we will go to the sorting uh, now I wanna see um, by itemize I will uncheck it yes I need itemize so let's make it itemize back sorting and we need itemize and I will sort it by angle. Let's say OK. Now you can see from the small to the biggest one, I'm sorting it. As you can see, by shared parameters, you can transfer any parameters from your family inside to the Revit, I mean inside to your project. And doesn't matter what the type of the, this parameter. Because if you will just send it without the uh, shared parameters, Revit not will recognize it what the type of the parameter you need and what the Revit should be do with this parameter. Let's make um, these parameters uh, what we have in the schedule more uh, more nicely, more clearly. Because now I do not understand what's the number here. Let's go back to the formatting and here I will find the length. I will go to the field format and I will uncheck it. Here is the millimeters. I want to see unit symbol millimeters. Okay. So let's say OK and let's make it uh, let's make it to the nearest on the 100 millimeter. Let's say like this. Let's let's say I want like that. Let's say OK and let's say OK. So we get now more clear data. So thank you guys. I hope it was helpful for you.